is. Well, no need to fly, Rose, but you are right. To <laughs> us, this is everything. But where are my names? To my left, I have Joanna, and to my right, I have Dave. I'm Harrison, and we humbly call ourselves the Gatherers. Now, we Gatherers salvage scrap metal from the farthest corners of the galaxy, from the hollow temples of Coruscant to the dark reaches of Malachor. We risk our lives to bring these ancient artifacts, well, back to all of you. Our goal is to teach the upcoming generation of force wielders about our past. Why? So we can build ourselves a better future. However, we are currently in troubled times right now, with the First Order lurking the streets and the Resistance hiding in the outskirts. Nowhere is truly safe. But in times like these, heroes will rise. You have all heard about the story of Luke Skywalker, right? Yeah. Yes. Only four of us? <laughs> and a couple of us. Well, a new hero has stepped up. Ray, our spark of hope that we desperately need. And that's why all of you are here, to answer that call for help. But, like the many legends that have come before us, you're going to need the lightsaber. Both elegant and enigmatic. Constructing one is an art form from a much more civilized age. The creation and design is a reflection of the builder that wields it. Now the lightsaber is a symbol used by both the light and the dark. It's a conduit that allows the force to flow freely. But when you all begin your own journeys, you're going to need something very small, yet something very vital. You're going to need the Kyber Crystal. Now the Kyber Crystal is the heart of your lightsaber. It focuses and amplifies the power of the Force, allowing you to express it through the blade. It also has the ability to determine the color of the wielding blade. Now, thanks to the courtesy of the Empire, we have four colors for you to choose from today. But first, let's talk about the many legends that held some of these crystals. Starting with the color blue. Once wielded by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and now Rey. Green, once wielded by Qui Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Luke Skywalker, and even Master Yoda himself. Violet, oh so rare and beautiful, it's been wielded by the legendary Master Mace Windu. In red, the crystal of power, held by Darth Tyrannus, Darth Sidious, Darth. Vader, and now, by Kylo Ren. But today, we are here to begin all of your journeys. It is time for all of you to choose your Kyber Crystal. My fellow gatherers are coming around with canisters that contain some of these crystals. When they approach you, please make your selection and gently place it in the small green stabilization pad right in front of you. Now let the Force guide your decision. Choose the one that's calling out to you. Choose the one that you can personally connect to. Magnificent choices, builders. But next, let's talk about the hilt. Now the hilt is the foundation of your life. It is the center of control. But most importantly, it's your hand from disintegration, which is kind of hard. The guardians and peace originate from ancient Jedi texts or even from public temples. These pieces, these parts, will be the structure of your lightsaber. In a few moments, we'll be going over these pieces. So go ahead, feel them out, see what we have to offer. Excellent. Let's also explore. In the leftover slot, you have your chassis. That's going to help your fiber crystal. Slots one and slots two will contain your sleeves. Slot three will hold your emitter, and slot four will contain your end cap. Last but not least, slot five will contain two sets of activation plates. Now I'll be leading this building process with the help of my fellow gatherers, but one question remains. Are you ready to build a lightsaber? Yeah. Perfect. Let's get to work. First, you're going to start off the left open slot and grab your chassis. You want to make sure that the hollow end is facing upwards. Next, you'll notice there's a center chamber. If you push up against it, you'll notice there's a spring pad on top. What you are going to do next is you're going to grab your kyber crystal, 
Make sure one of the pointed ends are pushing up against that spring pad so your fiber crystal standing up straight from point to point in that center chamber. This is by far the most difficult step in weight training your dome. So if you need any assistance, feel free to ask one of my fellow gatherers for help. You'll know if it's improper release if your fiber crystal begins to glow, it should also come back to you temporarily. If your fiber crystal is in that center chamber and it isn't glowing, please let one of us know immediately. It's absolutely crucial that we get this particular step done right. Don't miss those steps. So once you have your favorite set of activation plates, you might want to look underneath them. One of them is going to have a red square on the side, and the other one is going to have a blue rectangle. If you look at the side of this center chamber of your chassis, you will notice a familiar red square and familiar blue rectangle. We're going to be playing a matching game. Match the red square from your activation plate directly over the red square on the side of the center chamber. Once you're touching, push, and it should. She's happy to play. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Make sure the blue rectangle of your second activation plate is going directly over the blue rectangle on the other side of the center chamber. Once you got both of them in, get your activation switch and slide it up and down. Keep sliding up and down and jump your hand. Now's the time to let you go. Give it a couple tries. Give it a play safe. Music to our ears. Three to move Slot one and slot two. Slot one and two. Hold your danger for you. You grab any two out of the floor, and you can make the match those pieces. So go ahead and grab two of your favorites in any combination. Now, something to keep in mind is that one of your sleeves is going to go on the top of the center chamber, and one of them is going to go on the bottom. But, you may have your attention, please. All of your sleeves will have a thicker and wider metal band of threading inside of it. That thicker band of threading must always go in first, touching the center. Once it is, you're going to push and twist the real thread until it's secure. So, you're going to pick up any tool, and you're just going to ensure that thicker wider band is in the middle, and then you're going to push it and twist it until it's secure. Any of them just want to stop and any of them will go bottom. Just remember that all of your sleeves will have that thing on the band with the ring inside of it. I think your band is ready to go in first. Remember to really push and twist until it's really secure. At this point, your chassis should begin to look a little more like a hill. And when you move it around, each of those sleeves should be loose at all. For those who have both of these sleeves, then feel free to move on over to slot three. Slot three will contain your emitters. You've got one of the two emitters available on slot three. And once you have your favorite emitter, just place it on top of the hollow end of your chassis. Once you've got it up there, twist it in the hole and secure. And then this is the bottom of the mess up. Once your emitter is fully secure, you grab your cell phone, look upside down. That exposed power cell side is facing up. You are then moving on over to slot 4, where you're going to grab one of the two end caps. Similar to the last step, once you have a pair of end caps, just place them on top of the exposed power cell side of your cap. Once you've got it up there, twist it until it's fully secure. Just like the last step, no pressure for slot. No, it's going to be one of these. Once your end cap is fully secure, your hilt is built. You can go ahead and use the same way as I do for a gap in this kind of work.
I'm going to activate it. You're going to slide that on up. So yeah, you're going to slide back down. First of all, you know it's going to activate and deactivate, okay? Okay. Are you satisfied with all the pieces you've chosen? Activate your safety. The ball is now complete. 